So I was tagged in this video about a U.S. patent, and my follower want to hear my thoughts. So I'm going to tell you my thoughts. I have not watched this video yet, so this is in real time, and all off the top. This is going to get real, real fast. If you scare easy, it might not be for you. I'm going to introduce you to a U.S. patent, 11107-5888-B12. It's right there on the top. Write it down. Go Google it for yourself if you don't believe me. Let's get into it. This is a patent application that was approved in 2021 that is used to vaccinate humans worldwide via a quantum link or pulsating microwave frequencies of 2.4 gigahertz or higher from cell towers, also known as 5G. Now, wh what does that mean, yeah. you ask? Yeah. Let's just say that graphene oxide, which we know what it is, it's that black ooze that you see in those weird alien videos, that was also got introduced a to a vast area. amount of the population. Gene, what this patent states is they could then use 5G to make the graphene oxide produce, control, or manipulate certain things in the body. For the purposes of this, it would produce specific enzymes to make a certain product in your body come alive. Okay, so I'm going to, I googled it, like I saw this, and I said let me google it myself, so let me pull, pull up google for you, okay? Here's the patent that you'll see. There's, there's different places to look at it, but this is the Google Docs patent right here, okay? You scroll down, and I'm just going to read the abstract. There's, there's several pages. I can't go into all the pages right now. I will, you know, if, if someone wants further details. I'm, I'm down to go down the rabbit hole, you know, if you really want to go down that path. Again, if you scare easy, it might not be for you, okay? Abstract. An aspect of some embodiments of the invention relates to system and methods for anonymously selecting subjects for treatment against an infectious disease caused by a pathogen compromising one, a polarity of electronic devices configured with instructions to generate an ID when in the proximity of another such electronic device, aka your cell phone, which everyone has on them, and your cell phone is related to your IME and I number, which is controlled by your name specifically, you're on a list, whether you are, you know, you know graphene not. oxide up or not, they right. can send this to specific people or send this to everybody. Okay, back to this. When in proximity of another such electronic device, one or both of transmit said ID to the other electronic device and receive an ID from another electronic device generating a score based on a polarity of such received IDs, receiving information from a server, displaying relevant treatment instructions to the subject based on received information. I'll explain later. At least one server compromising instructions for sending to the polarity of the electronic device information to display the relevant treatment instructions where at least one server or said electronic device compromised instructions to generate a prediction of likelihood of the subject transmitting a pathogen based on the score of the subject. The graphene oxide makes your body a receiver. Your phone is a receiver. The server is a 5G tower. Well, the 5G tower is also a receiver, okay? The main server will send the tower a message. The tower will then send that message to everybody's cell phone. Your cell phone will then be in proximity of you, the final receiver, which will then generate information causing the graphene oxide within your body to produce certain outcomes. Okay? Now, when you really start thinking about what does this patent do, what is its purpose, and what are they planning, start thinking and asking those questions and say, now we see 5G towers literally going up everywhere this could get really scary really fast and could affect a lot of people instantly with a push of a button your cell phone will basically destabilize you or cause you to produce certain antibodies or whatever they really want your body to produce or do or shut down or reactivate that's scary so first off uh, wouldn't this only affect, and this is me asking a question, this is not me giving you my opinion, but wouldn't this only affect the people that have already taken the mRNA, right? Talk about the graphene, because graphene was in that. But, you guys have seen me in the past year in other truth seekers talking about detoxifying yourself. And that's by getting all the metals out of your body. Because what if it's just not dealing with graphene and think about all the metals that are in our products like our deodorant we got aluminum think about the cloud seeding with the metals the aluminum um now more than ever it's time to take us people serious because this patent 
it's serious and real. And I searched it. And it's an actual patent. So this is not misinformation. You can go search to see if this is verifiable. And when you do, when you type it in your computer and it is an actual U.S. patent, word for word, what he said. Who, 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 who's the conspiracy theorist? The more you know. Huh? That is the question. Here's a better question for you. Why would this be a U.S. patent? And why was 2020 the way it was? And why were we in lockdown while they were putting all those towers up? And why were we distracted with so much conspiracy bullshit? That, my friend, is the right question. Peace to the gods. Wake up!